There are new details and reaction in the hunt for accountability over the tragic Abbey Gate bombing in Afghanistan. Mark Meredith has more from Washington. Former President Trump stood shoulder to shoulder with families of U.S. service members killed in Kabul three years ago today. The attack, carried out by a lone suicide bomber with ties to terrorist group ISIS-K, killed 170 Afghans and 13 U.S. service members. 18 Americans were also hurt in the attack. U.S. soldiers were racing to evacuate Americans and Afghan allies as the Taliban quickly regained control of the country. Shanna Chapel is the mother of Lance Corporal Kareem Nakui. Kareem was doing his job. He was um, wanting to help people get to freedom, get to safety. A review of the Abbey Gate attack conducted this year by U.S. Central Command found the bombing was, quote, not preventable at the tactical level. But lawmakers say a lack of planning from the White House on down fueled the chaos. House Speaker Mike Johnson says in September, Congress will award the service members' families the Congressional Gold Medal. The American people owe them a, a, a debt of gratitude that can never be fully paid. Today, both President Biden and Vice President Harris released statements honoring the fallen. Biden writing, quote, Together, we must never stop striving to be worthy of their ultimate sacrifice. Republicans say it's now Harris who needs to explain her role in the withdrawal decision after these comments made months before the attack. Afghanistan. Yes. Were you the last person in the room? Yes. And you feel comfortable? I do. Harris supporters say finger pointing won't help. We've got to stop assigning partisan blame on fundamental things like our national that. security. The threat of future attacks from ISIS-K terrorists remains, including here at home. The FBI director told Congress this summer he's, quote, increasingly concerned about the potential for a coordinated attack within the United States. In Washington, Mark Meredith, Fox News.